guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in again if this is your first time welcome to my channel today I'll be showing you how to make kebab sticks also known as chin chinga you will need 500 grams of goat meat 250 grams of turkey gizzard kebab sticks thyme one tablespoon of curry powder a tablespoon of aromat and a tablespoon of salt suya powder three bell peppers and one whole Indian onion. Wash the meat and place it in a pot. Make sure you fill that pot with cold water so that it's the same level as the meat. Once you've done this, add the tablespoon of salt and put it on the fire. Fire, fire. Oh yeah, and make sure you cover it. Once the meat starts to boil, Actually, the water. Is it the meat or the water that's boiling? Anyway, once the water starts to boil, make sure you remove the cover because it's going to be on the fire for a while. As we want the meat to be quite soft, we will be stirring quite regularly because we'll be on the fire for quite a while. So make sure you continue to stir and stir and stir. The water has also reduced a little bit. So I'm going to cover the part halfway. The water has reduced by almost half and the pot is still on a medium to high heat. Keep stirring and try the meat to see if the texture is almost at your heart's desire. Once you have tried this, it will give you an indication of whether you want to boil the meat for any longer or whether it's time to take out. I thought it was too hard so I dropped the meat back in as I like my meat quite soft. The water has significantly reduced but it's still not as soft as I want it to be so make sure you try it and see and if it's not that's fine because as you can see I just add a little bit of water just to make sure it can continue boiling if you do add any more water Add half a teaspoon of salt and stir. The meat is almost to my heart's desire, so it's almost time to add the rest of the ingredients to make sure that we get the most flavour out of this kebab. The meat is now as soft as I want it, so I'm going to add in the curry powder and the aromat as well as the thyme and stir. Now the reason why we add these ingredients once the water has reduced significantly is to make sure that it brings out the most flavour. Okay. for about five to ten minutes and then it's time to drain so that we can fry while you wait for the meat to drain make sure you heat up some oil so that you can deep fry straight away deep fry the meat for no longer than 10 minutes because you don't want it to be wincing which is another word for dry and hard and cheap Whilst the meat is frying, add a little bit of oil into a pot to saute the bell peppers and the Indian onions. It's about two to three minutes add in a teaspoon of aromat just so that the vegetables can also have its own flavour. Leave this on the fire for another two to three minutes and no longer to ensure that the vegetable is still crunchy. Once you are happy you can remove this off the hob. So I deep fried the meat for no longer than 10 minutes and now it's time for the fun part. Time to add the suya powder. 
I've measured around one cup of sea powder and we'll pour this onto the meat but to be very honest with you guys I never follow the measurements when it comes to sea powder because I just love it so much so just pour your sea powder onto the meat and stir and then try one and then if you want to add more feel free because that's what I do <laughs> So once you've mixed in the sea powder with the meat, it should look like this. I mean, I think at this point I'd had like five pieces of meat already, so don't be alarmed if mine looks less than yours. It's now time for the final process where I add the meat, sauteed bell peppers and onions to the kebab sticks. Here it is guys, the lovely Chin Chinga, amazing on its own or as a side. Enjoy and thank you so much once again for watching guys.